Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and I am the crochet designer behind Emma Crafts Design. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the different stitches and techniques that I use to make amigurumi. So we are going to get started with a technique called the magic ring and this is used a lot to start working in the round. I will also show you an alternative to the magic ring um, just in case you don't quite get it. And it did take me a while to actually master that magic ring technique. So hopefully by showing you, you'll be able to get it. But if you don't, it's okay. There are other ways that you can actually start your amigurumi as well. Um, then I will show you how to single crochet um, in the round, which should be pretty easy as long as you are using a stitch marker. And then I will also show you how to increase and decrease using single stitches um, in the round. So we will go through a technique called the invisible decrease um, and I will show you how to do that. And I really like that technique because it really makes your stitches very neat when you are decreasing. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first thing um, I want to mention is today I'm using an egg ply cotton yarn. So because I'm using an eight ply yarn, um, as I mentioned previously, I'm going to use um, a slightly bigger hook because I crochet really tight. So today I am using a four millimeter, so that's a G hook clover hook. And I will show you first how to start your amigurumi. So there are a few ways, like I mentioned, you can do what's called a magic ring or there is an alternative technique if you can't quite manage the magic ring, which it is a little bit hard at first. So the way to start your magic ring is you want to wrap your yarn around your fingers like so, and then you insert your hook under that first loop there and you want to pick up a loop onto your hook. Once you have this loop here, you want to chain one like so. And then what we'll do is we'll make our stitches onto here. So I will um, do six single crochets. So that's the first one. The second one so to do a single crochet you want to pick up a loop from underneath and then pick up your yarn and pull it through so that's three single crochets that i've done so far and i said i will do six so four five and six so i now have my six single crochet onto my loop and the reason why it's called a magic loop is because once you have the number of stitches that you want, you can just pull the loop and see, you now have a circle. So I won't actually pull through that loop tight at the very beginning because it makes it a lot harder to find your first loop to crochet into. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to leave it a little bit loose and then I'm going to tighten it tighten it up again once I finish the first round. So let's just say for the first round you want to just single crochet around. So what you're going to do is you need to find this first here single crochet from the previous round. So this one is always the hardest one to get. Here you go. So obviously you want to make sure that you are grabbing your working yarn and not your tail once you're doing that. And you want to single crochet around. So that's one. So you insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull a loop and pull through. So that's two single crochets. Three. four, five, and six. And now that you've actually finished your second round, 
you see you still have that little hole in the middle well if you if you pull on that yarn tail now it's completely closed okay so i don't recommend pulling it until you've actually finished that second round just makes it a lot easier all right so now i'm going to show you how we do an increase through there so to do an increase it's very simple you actually do two single crochets into the same stitch so from now on i'm going to put my stitch marker in the last stitch of the round so you'll notice here i have my little stitch marker so i always put my stitch marker in that last stitch of the previous round here we go and now you want to go on to the next stitch here so that's the first stitch of your round and like i said we're going to do increases around now so you want to do one and two single crochets into that first stitch um and then i said we're going to just increase around so you're just gonna continue doing an increase so you have two single crochet in the same stitch and you go, go again until you have done that for the whole round oh and my stitch marker just came undone which is okay still marking my stitch All right, and so once you reach that last stitch here you're just going to remove your marker doing your increase into that last stitch and then we're going to replace the marker into the last stitch here okay So now I'm going to show you how we can decrease. So how do you decrease? So to decrease normally, you would put your hook through the whole stitch and then pull up a loop. Then you go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then you want to just pull through all those loops that were on your hook so that's a normal decrease now i'm going to show you how to make an invisible decrease so now instead of putting your hook through the whole stitch you're just going to put it through that first part which is the front loop of your stitch and then you want to put your hook so i haven't pulled yarn through yet you're just pulling your hook again into the next front loop of the next stitch and then you want to pull yarn through and then finish your stitch so you can see you can barely tell where i've actually decreased here because it's pretty much just a single stitch but you've effectively reduced your number of stitches there so again what you want to do is you insert into the front loop of the next stitch and insert again into the next front loop and then you're going to wrap your yarn and then you're going to finish your stitch and so here you have it an invisible decrease okay now i'm going to unravel it all and show you how you can start your work without using a magic loop just in case um it's a little bit too hard and you can't quite get it so if you want to start without a magic loop you need to do a slip knot so to do a slip knot you wrap your yarn like this and you just pull up a loop and you will insert your crochet inside that loop now you're going to chain so they're just pulling loops through there two all right so now you have two chains onto your hook and very simply you're going to put the number of stitches that you need into that first chain there so 
if we want six, we're just going to do one, two, three, four, and you can just put that tail at the back, um, five and six. So again, generally it's fine, but I always find this technique always leaves that little hole there, which is why I don't prefer it. Um, but then you can just do um, the same thing. So here would be your first stitch there. So you will just start crocheting into that first stitch from the round and then continue doing it around. And here you go and then you just continue so again um, you can also pull a little bit on that yarn tail and it will help to reduce that gap in the middle but I do find the magic ring a bit neater so um, yeah since I've mastered it so when I first started I didn't use it but since I've mastered that magic loop I've just been doing it because I just find it a lot neater but just so you know, there is another way, even if you don't want to do a magic loop. So here it is. I hope that you have enjoyed this video showing you how to make a magic ring, um, how to start your work in the round, how to do single crochets, as well as increases and decreases in the round. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to make amigurumi. Until next time, bye!